Okay, it's not the crispiest duck skin in the world. What did Jahan say about the... Just cut the duck. Cooked, done, mm -hmm. one trip to the kitchen, less piddling about with wasting energy. Good exercise. Right, are they going to come out with public information posters now that if you cross back into the kitchen unnecessarily five times today, you'll have climbed three Monroes. In any case, the duck is good, the tomato is garlicky, and is cooked tomato and is slightly mushy, I mean it's fine. All in all, it's okay, except for the lack of crispiness on the duck skin. The skin could be crispier. Right, so this is the boring, dull, stayed, by the book duck, cooked according to the recipe, with preheating and things. Captain Kirk would hate this duck. Dirty Harry would hate this duck. Look at the crispy! I'd just like to say in advance that this one's been in the oven for a bit longer than the last one. That's got nothing to do with the crispy. Mm, that's good. That is crispier than the other one. That is very good. I think this is all mine. I think not. Okay, that didn't work so well, but since Jahan is such an expert on pizzas, we thought we'd give those a try. This is a frozen pizza. And this is a cold oven. Now, Jahan's actually correct about the old stone-built ovens. They are actually much better for oven baking than the modern domestic kind you get in your kitchen. In your modern domestic oven, which is essentially a tin box, you start off at a high temperature and then the temperature drops off gently and then the thermostat kicks in, takes it right up to a temperature way above it's supposed to be and then it drops off gently again. So you get this wavy motion round about, vaguely, the temperature you're supposed to be cooking things at. In fact, we spoke to a few food scientists who've been doing some research in this area. Apparently there are domestic ovens in which you can find the temperature is up to 120 degrees Celsius higher than the temperature the oven is set at. The non-preheated pizza, which was going to be perfectly fine, was ready for its moment of glory. It's got vegetables on it. Why has it got vegetables on it? Frozen pizzas, they come from the shop. The shop knows best. Ah. Oh. Well, there's our five a day. One, two, three, four, five. I can pick the rest off. Crispy on the base. All the way to the middle. It's wiggly. It's not Hot. very nice here. That's quite nice. I've had better. With our now preheated oven, we stuck in a fresh new conformist pizza, ready to tow the line and follow the gooey, drippy supermarket pizza herd. Then it came out, and it was identical to the other one. For this specific variety of pizza, there isn't a great deal of difference. There's no difference. There is some difference. There is no difference. Some difference. No difference. So. I'm right. No. In some circumstances, it is more useful to preheat the oven. For instance, the duck. The duck skin on the preheated it version tasted much was better. marvellous. Okay, so what about the pizza? The pizzas, there was really that not was a lot of it. Yeah, there really wasn't a lot of difference between the two. But the amount of hassle that we saved by simply slamming the pizza in the oven, turning it on, and going back when it's cooked, that made a lot but of difference. Don't... Especially if you consider the cumulative hassle accrued over several decades of cooking. Well, I don't mind, and besides, actually, if you are one of these poor people who don't have a dishwasher like me, you can in fact be doing something useful like dishwashing. You're wrong. I'm right. No. Yes. I'm right. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. I'm right. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes. It's a health grill. It grills. Health, healthfully.